Did you know that Elsby or Elizabe is overpowered in battle? The Elizabe we are looking at today is not perfectly min-maxed, but still has insane attack power. I just got it to level 44, and as you can see, the base attack is 9839, and it's up 138% to 1996. Its base defense is 528, and it's up 50% to 792. We were able to do this by upgrading its partner skill to level 5, as you can see Queen B Command level 5, and filling our party with a bunch of Bagards that all have Worker B, their partner skill, level 3. If we increased that to level 5, it would have increased Elizabeth's stats more. So after we did that, we went to the Statue of Power, upped her attack to max, which is an extra 30%. Now throughout the remainder of this video, she will be at a lower level just because at the time of recording this intro, it was one day later than recording the video. And I'll show you some of the process of getting her all the way there, but I'll skip the part where I hatched over 100 eggs to get the passives that I wanted on them. The Elizabeths are all level 40 and their attack stats are vastly different. 810, 877, 947. So this one here, we're gonna grab it and we're gonna just put it to rank one, which is where the other one is. So we're gonna select it, then we're gonna go through and select four of these. Condense it. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna check the actual attack stat. So we're gonna swap it back here and you're gonna see 849, 877. They're both rank one. And their defense, eight, 381 and 348. So they actually have different IVs, which is individual values. So the attack, it can be in a range. I don't know exact numbers. So your level ones, you can see 140, 141, 98, and then 140. Now, why is this one so, oh, it's because it has work slave. So you can see 140, 141. So as you get into higher levels, that gap can change a lot more. So you can actually have, you know, a difference of a significant amount once you get up to level 50. So anyways, we're going to take our Elizabeth here, and it's going to take 64 for us to fully level it up. And you can see, like, the harvesting, the planting, the medicine, that's all going to be going up. So it'll actually get, that's how you can get level 5s. And I don't think I want to keep any specific ones of these. I think I already separated them. So Queen Bee Command is going to go to level 5, 128% due to its passives. Kind of forgot to, sh to see what the attack was before we condensed it, but not that big a deal. Yeah, 598 up to 1300. But all these are gonna be Bogards, and then we're gonna upgrade their passive and see how it actually affects our Elizabeth's attack. 1363, so what it's saying, all to one, I guess. Use the four in it. Yeah, 1363. Yeah, so it doesn't actually appear to be doing anything, but while well, on team, LSB stats will be increased. So I thought it should have, but we're going to take this artisan one and we're going to put a bunch into it. Yeah, 1363 still. So we're going to come here. Uh, we do want to do those, but we want to enhance pals right now. We want to go attack. See, it sucks. We have to do it like this, right? We can't just do it all and, you know, choose to go all the way up and then enhance it. We've got to do it level by level or 30. Okay. Okay. So now 1700, 1700 attack on this. So with this party, we can get Elsby up to 1700 attack. Now, if we were going to compare this Jorgenminder here, level 46 has 600 attack, 450, 480, 560. So as you can see, like 615 on that one, 669. So we're not hitting over 700 on any of these things. Level 40s and up to 46. But our LSB here, we have at 1700 already. With Musclehead, Aggressive, Brave, and Ferocious which is not perfectly min-maxed. So we got attack 30%, attack 20%, attack 10%, and attack 10%. But that 
takes our defense down a little bit, but that's not really a big deal because I I'm not sure which one of these is upping my defense, but my defense is up. Power of defense. Damage taken. Passive skills plus 41%. So it's probably the queen bee command that's doing it. So even with aggressive taking 10%, we're still up 41%. So this is really a powerful way of leveling a certain character. But the problem, so we're going to take our bagards out. And as you can see, we're now down to 1375 and our defense is really down, right? So passives are 77%. So remember those numbers, 1375, 435. Now we have 1499 and 505 or 508. Now we got 580 and 1616, 1717 and 643, and 1818 and 706. So problem, we don't get to have a flying mount. We don't get to have any types of mounts. So we just have to run at our own speed, which kind of sucks because, you know, we can't get around nice. So if we want to do a boss battle, we better spawn at the boss. Otherwise, it's going to be a long run, right? So now just going to take this artisan one and we're going to put it in place of this one. So we're going to check the stats first. 1818, 706. Now this one has... I guess that one has one in it. 1794 and 692. So it does seem to affect it. Yeah, 1810, 701. eighteen oh two and six ninety six and yeah that one had a star in it so I think what happens is it just doesn't update right away for some reason. So yeah, seventeen eighty seven attack. So what we're going for. Eighteen ten. So yeah, the star levels do appear to actually make a difference. Okay, we're gonna take this one just because it takes less. I don't know if I have enough. Let's do it. Let's condense it. Eighteen eighteen. See, it's weird. It didn't seem like it went up, but we got one more here. I think. See, this would be a good time to take the ones that I don't want, put them in there, or the ones I don't want to get rid of, put them in there so that they don't get all mixed up because i believe when they're in the condenser you don't actually see them in this menu so it's still 1818 but we're going to take our lsb put it here what just said 44 or am i just in, am i just crazy or did i see a 44 in there somewhere i don't know but you can see 13 20 877, 849. Yeah, even though they're both level 40 and both level 1, 877 to 849. So that really can make a huge difference. Now, yeah, 1849. So it did go up. It just wasn't registering for some reason. So I guess what we should do now is go and test it out. So he's supposed to be 47, right? Yeah. Oh, useless. Well, oh, okay, we can still hit him, yeah. We got 4,000 health, that's not terrible. What is that? Huh? I mean, okay, maybe she's uh, good here. Yeah. Do your spinny thing. What, 42? 47? 0.3% chance. Okay. I kind of wanted to catch him. I actually do want to just double check. Eight, 1849. Okay. I'm not sure who this boss battle is. We're going to find out though. Okay, it's a little lean. Uh -huh. 
which means fire would be great, like my organ minder, but we're not running it. Hmm. Hilarious. Lily and Lilene. Lilene? Alright, go. Sixty-nine thousand. Okay, so we're doing pretty good against... Do you have a level? Yeah, I don't know if she has a level. Oh, that sucked. Threw it right into that. Free Pal Alliance Founder. Oh. So yeah, Elsby's doing pretty good. Let's get you out of the explosions, though. Let's go over there. Hmm. Yeah, down 20,000 already. I mean, sure, if I were to start doing that, definitely help a lot, but, Bubble Beam, ooh, those were pretty, pretty good hits, actually. Alright, that was a few thousand. So... You're the Free Pal Alliance founder. Why are you using your pals to fight? And why do you have pals? I thought it was supposed to be Free Pal. Alright, yeah, so LSB seems to not have the same damage I do. Or it's just not hitting as often. Hey, I did it. Six percent of people have done it. Okay, so I am level 48. I got a level 40 LSB that we have beefed up to a whopping 1800 attack, 1850, through our Musclehead Aggressive, Ferocious, and Brave. And we're gonna see. Yeah, we also put souls into it to make it better. Uh, it's Queen Bee Command level 5. I do want to check. And I think those are the ones I'm going to go with, the attacks. There's level 50 Jet Dragon. We have no legendaries yet. That will be our first legendary. But we, really what we're doing is we're just seeing if it's actually able to take out Jet Dragon with its beefed up attack. We're just testing it out. So we're going to go get its attention, maybe. There we go, one damage. That's... Nope, there we go. Alright. Let's see how... Nope, nope, no, okay. It, it worked. I was scared with its... Fire attack that it was gonna hurt it. Oh boy. Okay, so Elsby does not have the defense. Okay. I hope you took that for me. Yeah, so there's no way we're gonna be able to do this. Not. And we don't even have a legendary sphere, you know? So I say we just probably just let it take us out, right? We're nowhere close to winning this battle. And there it is. So if we did add in a Flaris or any other flying mount, we'd be up at 1870 instead of 1996. So as you can see, despite this not being min-maxed, you know, I could have still had Legendary on it and another one, which would have gave it even more attack and defense. Yeah, Lucky maybe too. It still does very well. 
I mean, obviously against level 50 Jet Rag in Legendary, it's it's underleveled for that. But it does pretty good, but then you don't get to have like a Flares to ride around on or anything. So it does have its drawbacks despite its insane attack. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you need help with the PAL condenser or the Statue of Power, let me know and I can do a more in-depth guide on it. But as always, my socials will be linked in the comments. So thanks for watching.